The action still pouring in on abortion rights in Arizona. At the same time, state leaders are at odds over which abortion law to follow. Fox 10's Brian Webb is live tonight with more. Brian. Well, and just today, the U.S. Supreme Court cleared the way for Arizona to prosecute doctors who perform abortions based on genetic abnormalities such as Down syndrome. But as for the enforcement and prosecution moving forward, well, it's complicated. The government does not belong in these most private of decisions. Democrats are pushing back, pointing out that polls show most Arizonans want abortion to be legal, but without the political power to do much about it. But when it actually comes down to doing the work to protect choice, only Democrats continue to fight for that freedom. Nearly all abortion providers in the state shut down services the second the Supreme Court struck down Roe versus Wade. And many doctors are afraid what it'll mean to them and their patients. All people deserve good, high quality care and should not fear that speaking about abortion with their health care providers will land either them or their physician in jail. Republican leaders are at odds over which law to enforce. The law written before Arizona became a state that mandates prison time for abortion providers at any stage of pregnancy. It's backed by Arizona's attorney general or the one passed this spring the governor supports banning most abortions at 15 weeks. It seems that there is some challenge to what's happening here and likely it'll have to be settled in the courts. Lori Z. Gray from the Arizona Coalition for Life had an abortion when she was 17 and regrets it to this day. When is it acceptable to destroy a human life? And in my opinion, it's not acceptable at all. And to add even more confusion, prosecuting abortion cases will fall in the laps of county attorneys, each with their own idea of what is best and who is in those positions will come down to future elections. Live in Phoenix, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.